Yes, we are talking about at least a dozen separate brush fires along highways, half of them along State Route 101 up in Mason County, and then some along I-5 here in Tumwater. You can see that DNR is actually still on the scene along this portion of I-5, checking out these last lingering hotspots. This is the last thing you want to deal with as Western Washington experiences drier than normal conditions. Smoke rising from one of the busiest highways in the state during rush hour. The flames reaching dangerously close to buildings. Appears that they could have been uh, started intentionally. Washington State Trooper Robert Ryer says witnesses saw a suspect in a black and blue box style SUV speeding away from the areas that burned. I mean, that should be common sense not to do that because, I mean, you can endanger so many people. About half of the fires burned along a stretch of I-5, the other half farther north along State Route 101. Crews quickly contained all of them, but it could have been a lot worse. These Good Samaritan plumbers even pulled over to help with their 500-gallon water trailer. The chaos, snarling traffic, and even threatening nearby businesses. It was pretty evident that we were having a brush fire across the street. Brian Curtis works at Bid Venues, an auction house located just feet away from some of the flames in Tumwater. My immediate concern was that that's where all our vehicles were parked, which is over there. We were parked right next to it. Firefighters quickly put the fire out before it could reach his property, but the mere thought that someone might have started it on purpose. Well, it's obviously disappointing. I mean, what's the point in that? As Washington suffers through a devastating drought. It's funny how here in western Washington we associate this as a very wet state, but we get a few months and it turns into a tinderbox. At last check, troopers are still looking for whoever was driving that black and blue box style SUV. If you have any information, please call 911. State troopers wanted to hear from you. Whoever did this potentially faces up to 12 counts of arson. Live in Tom Water, I'm Christine Pei, King 5 News.